Hey, welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. So using Linux Mint, pretty much the only video editors that I use is either going to be OpenShot or Caden Live. So Caden Live is the primary one that I use, but I've always wanted to use more professional options. Uh, but unfortunately, Adobe Premiere isn't available natively in Linux and neither is Apple Final Cut Pro because obviously it's an Apple product. And so DaVinci Resolve is available for Linux. However, it's available for CentOS, which is a, a Red Hat based distro. And so it's not natively available for Ubuntu or Debian based distributions. And so I have tried to install this before, but it just hasn't worked. And I didn't want to go through the hassle of going through a lot of hacks. And so I found this video on this YouTube channel by this guy named Linux Gamecast. Uh, I will leave a link to his website below. And he has some excellent instructions on how to do this within Linux Mint or Debian based distributions. So Ubuntu would work here as well. And the site that he refers to is this one right here, Make Resolve DB, uh, done by this guy named Daniel um, Tuvesan. So thank you so much for doing this. And so I'm going to try this out. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go to the DaVinci Resolve site and download the version that you want. This one right here is the free version and this one here is the paid version. And so for me, I'm going to try out the free version, but if it works well, I'm going to go ahead and buy the premium version because I want to make sure things work within Linux Mint before I actually, you know, make that investment because I really do want to use DaVinci Resolve. And so you just click on here, but you have to register your info. And once you do that, you will get this uh, DaVinci Resolve file right here. And the next thing you want to download is this Make Resolve Deb. Now, the thing is, you want to make sure you download the right version. And so he does this for compatibility. And so you just download the one that you're going to download, you know, for the DaVinci Resolve site. So what I did was I uh, downloaded the 16.1 version. And so I'm going to download the 16.1 version of this Make Resolve DB file. And so I've already done that here. And so what you need to do is you need to extract it. Just go ahead and right click and extract here. And when I do that for DaVinci Resolve program, it has this folder right here. And within this folder, there is a dot run file and Linux instructions. Now the make resolve DEB, uh, I had to do that as well. I extracted it here and the file that came out of it uh, was this SH file. Okay. So this is what you need to actually get things done. And so now let's go ahead and uh, try to install this and hopefully everything works. So the first thing I need to do is right click here and I'm going to go ahead and open this in a terminal. And this is supposedly only supposed to work with Nvidia cards or that's what DaVinci recommends. And so I'm not entirely sure if this is going to work or not because I have an AMD card, but we're about to find out. So the first thing you want to do is you actually want to run this uh, make resolve uh, deb sh file. So that will convert uh, this particular uh, program into a an actual uh, dev file that you could run. So here it should ask for some, okay, some parameters. So we're going to go here and make, choose the light version because that's what I'm going to install. And so let's see if this works. And so I need to install Soriso. So I'll do a sudo apt install or soar iso so i think that's how you pronounce it okay so go ahead and put in my password all right so this might take a minute for it to install okay all right so let's see Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, run that again now that I actually have that SOAR ISO installed. Okay, so hopefully this will create a dev file that I can actually run and install DaVinci Resolve. And so you want to make sure that both of these files are in the same directory because that's what this sh file is looking for. And it looks like it found it right here. And let me go in the folder. Oh, look, there's the dev file right there, but it's not done yet. 
And if this works, man, I'll be super excited uh, because I've always wanted to use DaVinci Resolve um, because if I you know, have DaVinci Resolve in Linux, then I could do this on Windows or Apple Mac. And from what I've seen, DaVinci Resolve, it's continually getting better. And I would rather use that. And especially later on, if you want to do more professional video editing or professional uh, color grading, DaVinci Resolve is the way to go. And it's still taking some time, so I might have to speed this up if it takes longer. Okay, so it's finally completed. Now there is one error reported, but from what I understand from the tutorial, that is okay. And there is the dev file. And so what you want to do here is you actually want to install it through the command line. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So by using a D package, D package. Hopefully I spelled that right. Dash I. And then uh, the dev file right here. Go there. All right. It's installing. Okay, so it looks like it's installed, but let's go ahead and check. Um, we're going to go ahead and go to my programs, sound and video. There's the bench resolve. So here it is. Let's see if this works. The moment of truth. Hopefully it starts. Please start. <laughs> well, nothing happened there. Hmm. Okay. So maybe it's because I'm using an AMD card. Uh, that's probably why it's not working. Hmm. All right. Let me go ahead and uh, reset, uh, reset my computer to see if that helps. For fast website hosting and top notch customer service and features, check out SiteGround, the preferred service used at geekoutdoors.com. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. Okay, so that didn't work, at least version 16.1. And so what I've done now is I've actually uh, downloaded version 16.0 for both the Make Resolve DEB and DaVinci Resolve 16. So let's see if this works now. I'm gonna go through the exact same process that I did previously. Uh, maybe because it's a new version, but who knows? Maybe it's because I have an AMD card. So I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to extract here. This is version 16.0. And once that's extracted, I'm going to go ahead and extract the make resolve file right here. Okay, go ahead and extract it. And I'm going to move that sh file over to the folder. So now it's in there. So that's the right version. So now we'll go ahead and go into the terminal. Okay, and I'll go ahead and do the same thing I did before. Here, oh wait. Hopefully this works, it works the same. That should, okay, should work the same. All right, now it's gonna make the dev file just like before, but this time it's gonna be 16.0. Okay, so it looks like the dev file is created. And in this case, there is no errors reported. There is our dev file. And now we'll go ahead and uh, run the deep package command. And we will install. Well, let me go ahead and list it first. All right, so let's do that again. Hopefully, I have better luck this time. Um, we'll get this to work. So, let's install version 16.0. Okay, so it says it's finished. So let's see if this works this time. Crossing my fingers again. <laughs> There's DaVinci Resolve. Start this up. And if it doesn't start it this time, then more than likely it's because I have an AMD card. Now, if you're using Microsoft Windows or Mac, this isn't a problem. 
uh, but there's issues with it uh, running in Linux if you're not using NVIDIA cards and yeah it didn't come up oh man well at least I tried but I think my guess is because I am not using an NVIDIA card uh, regardless of whether I'm using version 16.1 or 16.0 it doesn't work but if you are running a Debian based Linux distribution like Linux Mint or Ubuntu and you do have a video card I'm pretty sure this will work because from the video that I showed you earlier it worked on his machine and if I do figure out how to get this to run on AMD cards then I'll make another update to it but I was really disappointed I was hoping to use DaVinci Resolve here in Linux Mint but that doesn't seem to be the case today so if you actually had any thoughts on this or maybe some advice or tips in uh, how to get this to work with the AMD card be sure to leave that in the comments area below and as always if you did get value out of these videos be sure to share like and subscribe hey geeks if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet then check out my Go content creators group where you'll get access to 30 videos plus additional content for all the creative geeks out there and the best part of it is all of this is free Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com, and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.